हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल बायोक्वेस्ट बायोकेमिस्ट्री क्लासेस टुडे आई एम बैक विथ ए वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑन रैपापोर्ट ल्यूबरिंग साइकिल रैपापोर्ट ल्यूबरिंग साइकिल दिस साइकिल इज अ सप्लीमेंट्री पाथवे टू ग्लाइकोलाइसिस दिस साइकिल इज ऑल्सो टर्म्ड एज रैपापोर्ट ल्यूबरिंग शांत और टू थ्री बिस फॉस्फो ग्लिसरेट शांत इट ऑकर्स मेनली इन द रेड ब्लड सेल्स और इरेट्रोसाइट इट इज सीन दैट अबाउट फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द ग्लूकोज दैट गेट्स कन्वर्टेड बाई एनोरोबिक ग्लाइकोलाइस इन लैक्टेड इन द आर बी सी एंटर्स the glycolytic pathway via this shunt mechanism now what happens in glycolysis the glucose six carbon molecule finally gets converted to three carbon pyruvate molecule in the first step the glucose get converted to glucose six phosphate which is then isomerized to fructose six phosphate and this fructose 6 phosphate is phosphorylated to fructose 16 bisphosphate which is again broken down to two molecules of three carbon containing dihydroxy acetone phosphate and glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate this dihydroxy acetone phosphate can get isomerized to glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate now this glycerol dehyde three phosphate gets converted to 13 bisphosphoglycerate and this 13 bisphosphoglycerate gets converted to 3 phosphoglycerate now the conversion of 13 bisphosphoglycerate to 3 phosphoglycerate is a classical example of substrate level phosphorylation for detailed description of glycolysis you may check a video of my channel on glycolysis the link is given in the description box or you may click the i button above now this 13 bisphosphoglycerate without getting directly converted to 3 phosphoglycerate it may get converted to 2 3 bisphosphoglycerate and this 2 3 bisphosphoglycerate again it will get converted to 3 phosphoglycerate now for the first step that is for the conversion of 13 bisphosphoglycerate to 23 bisphosphoglycerate the enzyme is 23 bisphosphoglycerate mutase it is a shifting of the phosphate group from position number 1 to position number 2 in type of isomerization and now this 23 bisphosphoglycerate is again broken down to 3 phosphoglycerate so the step of 13 bisphosphoglycerate to 3 phosphoglycerate formation is bypassed now again the further steps of glycolysis will take place and finally pyruvate molecule will be generated in cases of anaerobic glycolysis which take place almost in 15 to 20% of the glucose molecules it gets converted to lactate now what is the energetic or energy production during rapoport lubrin cycle or in a simpler form how many molecules of atp are generated during lubrin cycle this is a common catch question in viva as well as the competitive post graduate entrance examination let us check in the first step one molecule of atp is utilized and in the third step one molecule of atp is utilized so total two molecules of atp are formed and one molecule of nadh is produced when glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate is converted to 13 bisphosphoglycerate and one molecule of atp is produced if there is normal glycolytic pathway in the substrate level phosphorylation of 13 bisphosphoglycerate conversion to 3 phosphoglycerate 
another molecule of atp is produced in the conversion of phosphoenol pyruvate to atp but the this substrate level phosphorylation is bypassed so no atp production is there and the nadh that is produced here that is again utilized in the conversion of pyruvate to lactate so the net production of atp will be zero because this nadh and this nadh the con, uh, produced nadh will be utilized this step is bypassed and two molecules of atp that have been utilized that will be again uh, produced means two are utilized and two are produced so net production of atp during the rapoport so what is the importance is of this 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate this 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate this binds to the globin chain of the hemoglobin molecules and this take place by the formation of ionic interactions or ionic bonds with the beta globin chain and if this 2,3 BPG binds to the hemoglobin molecule it causes shifting of the oxygen dissociation curve to the right side what does that mean that means it helps in unloading of oxygen in the tissues now let us see in cases of anemia or in cases of hypoxia in high altitude where there is reduced partial pressure of oxygen and reduced supply of oxygen to the tissues either due to reduced hemoglobin content or due to reduced oxygen content there is compensatory increase of 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate because this 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate will cause unloading of oxygen from oxyhemoglobin to the tissues. In cases of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease there is compensatory increase of 2,3 BPG to combat the hypoxia due to obstruction in the airway. In cases of fetal hemoglobin where there is a complete difference of hemoglobin pattern. We all know that the fetal hemoglobin contains gamma chain instead of the beta chain and in the gamma chain the there is a change in the residue. In cases of beta chain where the 2,3 BPG bind that is mainly the lysine residue because 2,3 BPG is a negatively charged molecule and it can easily bind to the lysine residues. Whereas in cases of fetal hemoglobin, the lysine residue is replaced by the serine residue. So the 2,3 BPG cannot effectively bind to the fetal hemoglobin and this helps the fetus physiologically because in cases of fetal hemoglobin, the property is to scavenge more and more oxygen from the maternal circulation. Thank you for watching. If you 